Hey guys, over here, and today I'm just doing a little update. As you can see, I got this equalizer from a 90 something Chevy, not exact what year, but a friend hooked me up with it. And I was wondering if I could just simply plug this in with the existing one I have, like take out the existing tape deck, it's just the tape deck, and it's got the little pouch on the side. I was wondering if these this wire will hook up the same there's also a wire in the back right there i was wondering if they'd hook up the same i mean they look like they do i've seen i looked up pictures and stuff on the internet it looks like it should looks like it should bolt right up but i was just wondering you can see i put a tape in there because my other one don't need power to eject and i guess you need power to eject on this one here that i just screwed it up so it don't work one of the two but I mean, this one seems to be in good shape, so if it works, I'm going to do a swap and have the equalizer and tape deck in my pickup, instead of just the tape deck. I also got this, it's just a blue centerpiece with just a pocket for storing stuff. I know the interior of my pickup's red, but you got to do what you got to do. That's in case either one of them dies someday, I can just take them out and put the pocket in, even though it's blue. Because, yeah, I'm kind of excited to put this in and hopefully it works because I want to figure out what all these do because I'm really not even sure. And it's got the CRO2, not sure what that is. Prog, I know that's the switch the tapes, eject, forward, seek, review, and repeat. My other one don't have any of those except forward and reverse. But, yeah, let's hope the screen lights up nicely. Hopefully it works. If it don't, well, well, that's a bummer. But the plugins look the same. So hopefully the plugin on the back here is the same so I don't have to do nothing with that. Hopefully it works like a charm. And I can just have a free upgrade to my pickup. Yep, I got this for free. My friend's got a pickup that's wrecked. Well, it's not really wrecked. The motor's blowing in it and I ain't gonna ever get it running. So yeah, I. I just take parts from it whenever. It's got a red interior, but I got this one from a blue pickup. A blue interior pickup. They got a blue one sitting on the hill as well. It's blue interior, and I had the pocket, so I grabbed that. So, hopefully it works. I kind of like how the, when you actuate the door, those come up. It's kind of cool. But there is a tape stuck in it right now, because I put it in. I was hoping the eject would work without power, but it don't work without power. So, yeah. So if anyone, any of you guys can tell me if these plugins will just plug right in, no problem, no modification, just work beautifully. Or if like the plug-in in the back is different or something, because there is a plug-in in the back. Like that, it's got like a little two prongs sticking out, three to going in, I'm not sure. I didn't take a real close look at it when I took it out, I was just kind of excited to get it. But yeah, I hoping you get one someone can answer it the question for me if not i'll answer my own question just by trying it in i might try it maybe after done making this video because i want to see if it'll even power up because i didn't get to see if it powered up yeah thanks for watching bye hey guys well welcome back I'll probably make this in the same video since the other one was short I tried using this and it does plug in it plugs in fine except on my pickup, there's no wire for this, so you can't do any of the tuning. So that makes it kind of stupid. And the tape player on this one don't work anyway. I put a tape in, it does glows a bunch of different colors, starts clicking and clacking, doesn't play, it goes back to the radio. And then the tape gets stuck, so you gotta take the cut top off and eject it manually. Because I even tried it with my Earl Pitts tape, and I know that part, so. Yeah, this one don't work. I mean, I probably can't get the tuning functionality anyway, but I could still get all this. That's what I was kind of after. Tuning's not a big deal, because that's all up on the dash. You got the base and stuff, so that's that's okay. But yeah, sadly, this one don't work. I know where I can get another one, though. Maybe that one will do a little better. Got some stuff in my hands from this. Yeah. At least they made it easy to take apart to get a tape. Just one, two, then one on this side, three. And then the whole top comes off, and then you just push down on a deal, and it 
pops the tape out. So I don't know if the ejector button don't work or what, but the whole it don't play tapes anyway, so it don't matter. So sadly, this one don't work. Maybe another one. So I'll just stick with my just this with the pocket and don't have the UP seek and all that stuff. That's all right. I could just I don't know take the face off. I, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Yeah, I'll show you with this tape. This is just like a blank tape. You stick it in and I thought maybe you needed power to eject it, but it don't matter. It gets stuck anyway. You have to take the top off. So yeah, this one don't work, but get another one. It should work. This plug-in is the exact same. It plugs in. I turned my pickup on. Everything lit up. Just lit up. Tried tuning it. Like I said, you can't because my pickup don't have the back wire for the tuning. That's all right, because the pickup I took it out, it didn't have the stuff on the dash, like the treble and bass and the little arrows. So, you know, that's fine. Not a big deal, but I'd still like to have all these. But, whatever. But it did light up and stuff. But I'll just keep my tape player that works for now, get another one of these, and go from there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.